we have one goofy thing that I wasn't even aware of that I was surprised by. In the news, if you guys don't mind me digressing, Sony's Exchange. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> so, wild, <laughs> Who would have thought? It makes sense, though. Right? <laughs> yeah, does it? I think so. In I mean, if you're looking at sense? Web3 tokenization I mean, and NFTs, and you're going to put it in your PlayStation, this is, this is more yeah. Jeff's area right i mean if we start start talking about yeah. jeff you know that's that's his desire is is to do things with gaming and his desire to do things with um with nfts but it's kind of cool that they're doing that it's web3 related so it'll be some evm some tokenization some you know level of of that kind of technology it won't be an exchange like a coinbase where they have bitcoin probably but it'll be web3 related um yeah, no i love yeah it. i think it's kind I of love fun that a, a real like a company that's been around forever it just is getting is buying an exchange like i would absolutely trust that <laughs> way more than ftx way more than he coinbase trusts way Sony. more than crypto <laughs> yeah yeah way more than people who came up through the crypto markets to create exchanges i would definitely trust that much more than it's, that. I'm not right, saying. Right. So let me, uh, you know, let me calm I'm you down a second. Do that, right? But do you know that? <laughs> no, it's great. Sony has been victim of several breach of very sensitive data, including source codes <laughs> and all that. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> Look, I'm, yeah, I'm most interested that. in their disclosure that it's a public blockchain network, not an open source blockchain network, but a public blockchain. <laughs> right. So here, it doesn't seem that they're really. <laughs> looking for that or that's i mean i don't i don't know but what it looks like is more that they want to develop a bunch of things that are around crypto and they don't want to use bitcoin or use anyone else it seems nope. that they want to use their own service and it seems that this exchange uh, does fit into their strategy but it is definitely interesting they're not starting from scratch they're buying an exchange that was already um existing which is called whale fin yep. it's a small it's a small thing but yeah that's interesting Look, the, the, their rename the s blocks the, the, yeah <laughs> they're a business and people want to make you know businesses want to make money the people are making money in crypto i, I like it's a that from that angle it makes total sense for a, a company to do it i just think like uh and granted yeah they they're probably going to have some security issues. They are probably going to be a huge source of, of attacks, um, you know, because they're a well-known company. Um, I hope that I, I hope that works out. I think it'll be good if if normal companies enter the market. I, I'm happy about right. it. No, I, I I agree. I agree. I think yep. it's a great step towards adoption. Right. Yep. Definitely. Wasn't wasn't the uh, the blockchain that was at least it was in the news for the longest time was was um, Oh, uh, it was it was the guy that you wrote that article to Theta, the silver the silver guy, um, Bix Bix. Uh, Bix I was a yes. big fan of Theta. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. they didn't use the Theta network for this, but instead they've gone private. So that's interesting. Yeah. That they've done yeah. that. Yeah, I'm well, sure they've hired people that were experienced, and then they, you know started a, a division in their big company totally. probably they have plenty yeah. of money so um, I, I think that they prefer to have full control which is yeah. understandable which is for a company this size exactly yeah.